myself chandra yadav so uh, we are meeting first time online even as in first uh, lecture in this third standard and uh, today we are going to start a uh, very simple topic eventually all topics are very simple but this is the one of the simplest uh, why this is one of the simplest because the the concept and content is very much related to our previous knowledge and when things are connected with our previous knowledge it become more simpler and more easier the name of topic is uh, is the chapter number 7 from s1 and that is a linear programming before talking about linear programming uh, this uh, we'll talk about how it is connected our previous knowledge the same chapter we had in 11th standard but in the previous syllabus Now, so let us have mentioned eleventh standard as well as twelfth standard. So, this chapter is a combination of two topics. Uh, one is a linear inequation, other one that is a linear programming. So, earlier we had only linear programming; it contains only the word problem. But now, uh, this topic club and uh, it contains two uh, sub topic. One is a linear inequation, and thereafter we have linear programming. So, first of all, we'll talk about the linear inequation. And then further we'll continue with the linear program. Is it clear? Just please confirm. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. yes. Yes, students. Please be interactive, okay? Because sir is also new to you and. Uh, In first appearance, you should be comfortable. Varna unke dimag me apke le bad impression bed jai. So if you want that, just keep quiet, keep your videos off, and just sleep. Okay. If not, if you want to good give, give your good impression in front of him, then please be interactive, right? Yes. Everyone, not yes, not sir. not only one or two for people. I want. I want everyone to be interactive. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So let's continue. Now, so just go back in ninth and tenth standard. We had a topic: linear inequation. Linear equation. If you remember, we had linear equation. Anybody? Can I tell you about the uh, linear equation? What is the meaning of linear equation? With yes. one variable. Ashish. And with one variable. One variable. Okay, it contains one variable. It means if I write, okay, x, it is a linear equation. No, so its degree should be no, one. Sir. Its degree should be one. One. Okay. So here degree of x is one. This is x raised to one. So is it linear equation? No, sir. Okay. Anything else? Anybody else? Ritika. No, sir. Linear equation. Some of you said degree is one. That is correct. Absolutely right. Degree is one. So you can answer like that. An equation whose degree is one. Simple definition. An equation whose degree is one. That is what we say as a linear equation. So just if I write x, this is incomplete. This is not an equation. This is an algebraic expression. So in order to write in terms of equation, we must have LHS as well as RHS. So x is equal to five. You can see here x is equal to five. We can say it is a linear equation. But how many variables we have over here? There are how many variables? One. One. Variable. one. So it is a linear equation. Linear equation in one variable. One variable. Yes, yeah, very good. So we are not learning anything new at this moment. Just we are trying to recollect exactly what we have done in the past, and with help of our previous knowledge, we'll proceed further. Okay. So this is a Linear equation in one variable. Uh, Prashant, can you tell me why it is a linear equation? Yes, 
So only one variable is used in it. That's why. Uh, okay, one variable it contains one variable. My question is, why it is a linear equation? How we can say it is a linear equation? There is LHS and RHS. There is LHS and there is RHS. Very good. Very good. Shravani. So the degree is one. Pardon? The degree of the variable absolutely, is one. Absolutely, absolutely right. So here, degree of the variable is one. You can see here, degree of the variable is one. So whenever degree of variable is one, that is known as a linear equation. And here, since it contains only one variable, that's why it is a linear equation in one variable. Now, another example, x plus y is equal to seven. Is it linear equation? No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it is a linear equation in two variables. It is a linear equation in two variables. Why it is a linear equation? So the degree is one. Degree is one. Right. And it has a right. Absolutely, yes. absolutely correct. So here, the degree of this x is one, degree of this y is also one. That's why it is a linear equation. A linear equation in two variables because it contains two variables. Okay. Now, this was about equation, but actually we have to discuss about the linear inequation. Linear inequation. Very simple definition. Just remove this equal sign. Remove this equal sign by inequality. I hope you know you are aware about inequality. In previous standard, 11 standard, uh, you have you had a topic uh, function. In that one, you have learned that inequalities. Yes, am I right or wrong? This symbol. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is what greater than or equal to, and this is less than or equal to. Is it clear? So when this equal sign is replaced by either this or this, then it become it become linear inequation. Linear inequation. Is it clear? Now, if we replace this equal sign by this one, both are both belongs to the linear inequation. Now, this one is x plus y is greater than or equal to seven. Now it contains two different things, or you can say one is the equation, other one is the inequation. How? See here, x plus y is greater than or equal to seven. Now, before talking about that one, if we say x is greater than or equal to five, so it means we'll say x is five and x is greater than five. Is it clear? Yes. The meaning of this x is greater than or equal to five. What does it mean? X is five. And x is greater than five, or you can say x is five, or x is even. Sometimes we use and, or even you can say or x is greater than five. Same thing over here. X plus y is greater than or equal to seven. It means x plus y is equal to seven. Another part is x plus y is greater than seven. Now, listen very carefully. This is just beginning and basic point. Now, this x plus y is equal to 7. Can you tell me geometrically what does it represent? x plus y is equal to 7. What does it represent geometrically? Aditya? Or geometrically, or you can say graphically. If we use term graphically, much better. So graphical x plus y is equal to seven. Graphically, what does it represent? So line. Line, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. So x plus y is equal to seven. It represents line. And can you tell me how many solutions we can find on this equation or on this line? How many solutions we can find out? So one. One. So okay. one. 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 Only one. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, one uh, example, can you tell me what is the solution of this x plus y is equal to 7? 5 plus 2. 5 plus 
3 plus 4 is equal to 2. Wait, wait, wait. 5 plus? 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2. It means x can be 5 and y is 2. If I say 4 plus 3, then? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It means x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Okay. If zero, uh, 0 plus 7, it means x is 0. X is 0. Y is 7. Y is 7. Okay. Uh, fine. 7 plus 0. Yes. Okay. So X, X is 7. Y is, y is 0. Y is 0. Uh, if I say minus 1 plus 8. Yes. Yes. Sir. X, X is 1. So it, has, it has only one solution or it has many solutions? Many. Many, many solutions. solutions. Okay. So conclusion is uh, uh, an equation which represents straight line. It has an infinite solution. So what is the answer here? It has infinite, infinite, infinite solution. But all those infinite solutions will find only on the line. If we draw the graph now. Be attentive. Topic is interesting. And very simple because the connected are previous only. You can observe that we started from the equation only. Still we are talking about equation. X plus Y is equal to 7. If we say, okay, draw the graph of X plus Y is equal to 7. So remember your childhood when you are in 9 or 10 standard. So uh, for X plus Y is equal to 7. So what do we do? Just we are making a box. Yes? Am I right or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then here X, Y, one more. And it will write X, comma, Y. So earlier we used to take three values. It means we used to find three points. But now, yes. in order to draw a straight line, we require minimum two points. So if we have two points, we can draw a line. So simple way, what we'll do here, once we put x is 0, if we are putting x is 0, then what about y? 7. 7. seven. And if we put y 0? x 7. x is 7. Zero. If someone saying if we put something else, yes, we can do. But if we are put, if we are considering the value of any variable is 0, so calculation becomes very simple. Easy. So better, you can consider anything, but uh, if we are considering 0, if we are taking 0, so calculation becomes so simple. So now the coordinates. It will be 0, 7 and 7, 0. Okay. So now we draw the graph. Now remember the original question x plus y is greater than or equal to 7. So we got two different parts. x plus y is equal to 7. This is the equation. And x plus y is greater than 7. That is a, in terms of inequality, you can say. But these both we got from the linear inequation. Okay, this is not an equation. This is linear inequation. Now, what do we do? We draw x and y axis. This is x axis. Y, an intersection point is known as? Origin. 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 So no need to take graph paper, just normal paper. Uh, we are going to draw the graph of given in equations. Now we are talking about equation here. Okay, so you write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Same way over here. So now we look at these points 0, 7, 7, 0. So 0, 7, where we get 0, 7? X on y axis. 0, yes. 7 on y axis. Y axis. Okay. And what about 7, 0? On x axis. Absolutely right. So, as we say, uh, we require two points, minimum two points, in order to draw a straight line. So, you just fill in this one. Yeah. Okay. This is what uh, graph of x plus y is equal to 7. Now, there's nothing, all these things we have done in the past. But we have one extra thing. What about this thing? x plus y is greater than 7. With this, no problem. 
but it contains two things one is x plus y is equal to 7 other one is x plus y is greater than 7. now you take any point on this line any point on this line any point suppose if you take over here this point here so coordinates of this point something uh suppose here so if we take actual graph paper so we get exact point so suppose here we'll take here one comma six so if you take any point on this line if we substitute in the lhs so always it gives lhs is equal to rhs yes or no yes, yes sir. Sir. Yes, sir. what i'm saying so every point on the line every point on this line or you can say other way the coordinates of every point of this line will satisfy this equation. Uh, do you understand what is the meaning of satisfying the equation? Yes. What is the meaning of yes. satisfying the equation? Yes. What is the meaning yes. of Yes, please. Tell me. What LHS is equal to RHS. Absolutely right. So the value of x and y, the value of x and y, which uh, gives LHS is equal to RHS, that means say the point satisfy the equation. So every point on this line will satisfy this equation. Now, what about this one? X plus Y is greater than seven. Now, focus on this part. If I say X is five and Y is three, if we substitute in this one, x plus y is greater than 7. Will satisfy this condition? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 5 plus 3? No, sir. No? No, no. Let's check. Let's check. check out. x is 5, y is 3. So 5 plus 3 is 7. Okay. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 is greater than 7. Is, is, is it yes, true? Yes, it is true. It is true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is true. This is true. Okay, so 5 plus 3 is greater than 7. Now, earlier, and if we take x is 4 and y is 3, then what we are getting here? 4 plus 3, that is 7. This is 7 is equal to 7, we can see. If we take this one, x plus y is equal to 7. We are taking both conditions. So here, 7 is equal to 7, it is, it is true or so it's true. It's true. And this is also true? Yes, sir. So. Yes. Yes. It, means, it means it means all possible values of x and y. All possible values of x and y which satisfy this condition. Which condition? Greater than, greater than equal, equal to. to. Equal. Greater than, yes. Greater than equal to. X plus Y is greater than or equal to 7. So here, all possible values of X and Y which satisfy the condition greater than or equal to are the solution. What do you say here? Are the solution Sorry. of given linear inequation. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, now, X plus Y is greater than or equal to 7. How do we represent on graph paper? Okay. Initial part will remain same as what we have done here. How to represent, how to solve graphically x plus y is greater than or equal to 7. Okay. And then at this one here. x plus y is greater than equal to 7. How to start or how to represent this inequation on graph paper? So, we will write like that. Consider remove inequality. In the first case, remove inequality. x plus y is equal to 7. And then make this box and draw the graph of this line. Now, what after that? When we draw the line, this one, suppose uh, this is a line L1. Just you can uh, give any name. 
Suppose this is the line L1. Now tell me one thing. Here we have origin. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So origin is this is the line. Now origin is either side of this line. You can say origin is either side. Means uh, according this downside. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. So origin. Now if we take any point over here. If we take any point, suppose point P, point P, and here we have a point Q. So point P is on the origin side. Point P is on origin side. So all the points below this line, listen carefully, Bachcha. All the points below this line will consider as a origin side, and all the points above this line will consider as a non-origin side. Origin side and non-origin side, or just we say non-origin. So two things are there. One is origin side, other one is non-origin side. So we have taken example. We have taken two points, point P and point Q. So point P is we consider as a origin, origin side. side, and Q is non-origin. Non away from the origin, we can say, away from the origin. Okay, so here now we have x plus y is greater than equal. We have a greater sign because equal sign gives this line. Now, what is the, what are the coordinates of origin? Zero comma zero. Absolutely right. Zero comma zero here. So just substitute here zero comma zero. It's zero. What do we get? Zero only. Zero. Zero. Zero only. Yes, sir. Very good. So it is zero only. So zero. And here it is seven. It is true or false? False. 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 Sure. Yes. Yes. So it is false. Am I right? This is false. So if you are getting false, if you are getting false. It means all points will be on the non-origin side. All points will be on the non-origin side. Where is non-origin side? Can you tell me? So the Q one above the Q line. Very good. Very good. Above the line. Above the line. So what do we do? Means including this line also because already we have taken including this line also all the above points. So we'll consider we'll uh, draw like that. We'll make arrow like that. This arrow we can extend longer. So this is known as a solution. You can say this is a solution. Solution set. We can't count. It is infinite. So this is the graphical representation. This is the graphical representation of a linear equation which contains two variables. Just we have taken example. Now we'll take more examples. But this is the way that how to represent graphically. Now the same thing, if in case, in case, if it is all, if it was true, in this case it is a false. But if it was true, suppose in any case, if it is true, then what do we get? Where we get the solution set? Below the line. The line. The line. So same arrow will come down means towards the origin, origin. or you can say. Origin side, so origin. origin side and non-origin side. So sometimes it become difficult uh, that how to identify whether points or solutions will get on origin side or non-origin side. So this is a very simple method how to check. So if you are getting the if you are getting true, it means you have to consider on origin side. If you are getting false, that is symbol. If giving false, then we get it. Non-origin. Non-origin. It is clear. Okay. Yes. Yes. So the, uh, about this linear integration. Now we'll discuss few problems. Now don't you try anything at this moment. Before going to the next problem, or next example, we discuss one uh, important point. That is the convex set. 
so yes 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 so like the notes if you take the screenshot and then make the notes or write uh, it right now right now no need to write anything just you understand first and exactly where it is required i i let you know okay sir thank okay. you so don't write anything yeah convex set all we know about set in ninth standard we have done sets even uh, 11th standard also we had sets relation function is it clear yes yeah so like a group of numbers natural number or anything you can say so this is this is with that pure representative set but here we have a convex set so these are the members we can say or elements now what is meaning of convex set here even the same thing it can be represented by this symbol and this we say as a venn diagram I hope you yes yes yes. So we'll write here one two three in this way. Even this is also another uh, symbol to represent Venn diagram. Clear? So this is suppose set A. This is set B. Okay. Now in this also this is suppose set C. Now. We are talking about the convex set. So, okay, it is this. Now, if we consider any two points in this figure, suppose here we have one point, and here also we have one point. Listen carefully. And we have taken one point over here and one point over here. Now, if we join these two points, and Now I'm connecting these two points first. Any difference between these two figures? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, actually. What is the difference between this figure number? What is the in figure number one and what is in figure number two? What is the difference between these two? The so number of sides. Hmm. Number of sides. What else? Uh, while connecting these two points. while connecting these two points and going outside the yes, figure very good, very, very good, yes very good. so here in this figure 2 when we connect these two points all points on this every point on this line it contains in the figure itself is it clear yes okay so and over here if you observe this part this part it is outside is it clear yes. so here yes sir no. so such a figure this one is known as convex set and this Hello, is another convex set so yes yes this so can you please repeat yeah so you can see uh, we have drawn two figure here and we have taken two points when we join these two points all the points on the line includes in this diagram and in this one when we join these two point few part of this line is outside of this figure so when yes, all sir. points lie on the figure we consider as this is a venn diagram suppose suppose by considering as a set so all the points lie in the same figure and here all points do not lie in the same figure few part is going out it is outside so this one is known as a convex this is known as a convex set means all points yes, okay. whenever you are when you now listen whenever you are connecting two points whenever you are connecting two points if all the points include in that figure then it is known as a convex set is it clear yes. or still there is a confusion yes sir if there is any doubt please feel free to ask no sir Okay. Now we'll take one more example. See this one. Suppose here we have points. Here we have point P and this is point Q. Uh, Q. Okay. This is a point Q. Now, if we join these two points, is it convex set? No sir, no stock set. Why it is not convex set? So the line outside the figure. Yes, it's coming outside is not, the yeah. figure. Correct, correct. 
Does it? No, no. it is not a convex set. Yes, very no. Is it? Yes, yes. Convex. This is a convex set. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. So, in objective question, question may be asked. Not in exercise, but in objective, in MCQs, question can be asked. Now. Solve graphically. So in this chapter we have a graph, and the later on we have a word problem. So as a, you have learned word problem uh, in a quadratic equation, linear equation, in line standard as well as in ten standard. The same thing here we have the word problem, but in terms of linear in equation. That is the second report. Later on, we'll uh, talk about all this. So the question is solve graphically. Listen very carefully. The very first question is x is greater than or equal to zero. X is greater than or equal to zero. It means what? It is a linear in, linear in equation or it is an equation? Yes, so it is a linear in equation. Linear. linear. It is a linear. In equation. In, in equation. Mm. Very good. Now we have to solve graphically. It contains two things. Not every time, no need to write just for understanding purpose. Uh, we discuss it contains two things like uh, one is x is zero, other is x is greater than zero. The meaning of this, the value of x, the value of x start from zero to infinite. It means the value of x is positive. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. The value of x is positive, including zero. Okay. Let's see how to solve this graphically. So, very first point you will write consider. This is the very first point you are going to write consider. X is equal to zero. So, what we are doing? We are removing inequality by equality. So, the very first point we are removing inequality by equality. Now. The second part, draw the graph like that. X axis, this is y axis, x, y, and the intersection point is origin. Now, x is zero. Can you tell me what is the equation of x is zero? X is zero represent which axis on this graph? On the origin. On the line. origin. Only the origin x is equal to zero. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, we'll take another example. Suppose I'm taking x is equal so to five. So the screen is the screen blurred. is just just the focus is going. Is it clear? Clear now? Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. Fine. Yes. Yes. Okay. X is equal to five. Now, draw the graph of x is equal to 5. How will you draw the graph? Okay, I hope you are thinking like that. We will draw x axis. This is y axis. Origin. x is equal to 5. How will you draw? On y axis, on y axis, y x is equal to five and y is equal to, y to, zero. to zero. So it means you mean to say, uh, so the five will come on, on x, y axis. What does it represent? Now you tell me what does it represent? X is equal to five. Linear equation. Linear equation. It represents line. It represents line. Now, note down, write down the point. 
read out first one when x is equal to k when x is equal to k when x is equal to k line is parallel to y axis line is parallel to y axis second point when y is equal to any values suppose x y is equal to h line is parallel to line is parallel to so that when y is equal to h Exactly. So now, x is equal to five. Five is positive or negative? Positive. 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 So here we get five. One, two, three, four, five. Somewhere here it is five. So x is equal to k. Line is parallel to y-axis. So how do we draw here? Like that. This is the equation. This is the equation of line. That x equal to five. Yes, sir. Is it clear? Now. Yes, sir. Now, if I say consider x is equal to four, then we get this line. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. If I take x is equal to three, then this line. Yes, sir. And we say x is equal to two. This line. Yes, sir. X is equal to one. This line. Yes, sir. And x is equal to zero. This line. Yes. So x is equal to zero. Yes. It means now write down this. X is equal to zero. Represents. Represents. Y axis. Y axis. Y is equal to zero. Represents. X axis. Very good. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, please write down these yes, four sir. points. Write down these four points. Done. Here's confirmance. If you completed. Yes. Okay. And remember, it will help us when we solve graphically linear integration. Now, can you tell me x equal to zero? Where we get x equal to zero? Y axis. Absolutely right. Yes, very good. So this is what x is equal to zero. Okay. Now x is equal to zero, y axis. Now what is the question here? X is greater than equal to zero. What is the meaning of greater than equal to zero? It means the value of x is either zero or positive. Greater than zero. Greater than zero. Greater than zero. Now one more thing. All these are previous things. And whatever I give a four point, this is also it was the previous knowledge. Okay, this is x axis, y axis here, x, y. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and this is fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant. Have you heard about the quadrant? Quadrant. Do you remember quadrant? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. In the first quadrant. X is positive. Yes, sir. Yes. The fourth X is positive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, other way, other way, which you remember that it is plus plus negative positive. Minus plus minus mm -hmm. minus, minus plus minus. Plus minus. What is meaning of this? Plus minus. It means X is positive. 
x is positive. So now here x is greater than or equal to 0. It means x is positive. X is positive. So in which quadrant the value of x is positive? First and fourth. Absolutely right. First and fourth. So it means x is greater than or equal to 0. So what where we get the solution in first and fourth quadrant, including this y-axis. So we are including this y-axis. It means we have to draw like that. You can extend this arrow till infinite, but not required. This arrow represents we have to move in finite direction. This is what the graph of this linear in equation. Any sir, question we got? Yes, yes, sir. Sir, if the quadrant comes like first and third, then how will you draw the arrows? First and third. First and third. Okay. First. Like the opposite okay, yes. angles. Yes, yes. Yeah. First and third. Okay. We'll come to this point. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. We'll come to this point. Okay. Within a moment, we'll come to this point. But now, my question is any queries related to this? No, sir. Understood. Sure. Okay. So we have to do this on notebook now, not, not to right. use graph. No, not right now. I, 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 I'll let you know exactly which point you need to write. Okay. So please don't write at this moment. Just you pay attention. Once you understand, then uh, you can write later on. Fine. So at this moment, no need to write anything. So we have to use graph paper. No, no, normal paper, normal, normal. Graph paper is not required. Only normal paper. Okay, normal. Paper. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Now, next one is y is less than or equal to zero. Y is less than or equal to zero. So how do we start? The same way. What do we write? What is the first point? Consider y is yes. equal to zero. Very good. Y. Consider y equals to zero. So what we are doing? We are removing inequality by equal. This symbol we are, uh, by using equal. Okay. Then very simply draw x and y axis. This is y, and here it is. Four. Now, y is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. Come on, x axis. Absolutely right. Very good. Very good. So, y is equal to zero. It is x axis. So, we'll write here y is equal to zero. Now, it contains two things. And you know, y is less than zero, and y is equal to zero. Is it clear? So, y is less than or equal to zero. What does it mean? The value of y, y is minus negative. Negative. Yes. So. Uh, in which quadrant y is negative? Third. So the third and the fourth. Third, third quadrant. Fourth. Absolutely right. Absolutely. Third and fourth. So we have to make arrow like that. Wait, wait, wait. Third and just just one second, please. Check the check your answer. You're saying third and fourth, y is negative. Yes, sir. Plus this is negative positive. Okay, this is negative, negative, and this is positive, negative. Yeah. Third and fourth? Yes. Sir. Sure. Yes. 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 Very good. So we have to make arrow, yeah, below this one, like that. Any question regarding this? No, in sir. No, sir. Sure. Included, no, in the solution set. Sorry. So in the solution set that x axis will be included, no? Yes, yes, yes. Because because the reason is uh, y is less than or equal to zero, it contains two things. One is y is equal to zero, other one is y is less than zero. So all values on y uh, on x axis and below the x axis. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And please feel free to ask if there is any kind of any kind of doubt related to the concept, topic, and particular question.
So I hope you are comfortable in this too. Yes, sir. Okay. So rather than we go in CW, CW means class work. Class work. When we when you will start writing, so we will write the first, then second, then third, fourth, along with this uh, writing part, you have to complete right now. Okay. When you will start writing, not right now. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now. X is great. Now I've taken two in equation together. So far we are taking only one. Now we are taking here two in equations. One is X is greater than or equal to zero. Other one is Y is greater than or equal to zero. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll proceed now. So what do we write here? Consider same way. Consider X is zero and Y is zero. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Now we'll draw the graph. First and third. Someone else, what about the first and third? We'll come to that point. Okay. So this is X, this is Y, and this is Y. Now, talk about the first one. This one. X is greater than or equal to zero. So when we get x greater than or equal to zero, in which quadrant? First and fourth. First, first and, and fourth. First, including, including y axis. Y, absolutely right, including y axis. So we, how do we draw this one? Like that. Okay. Fine. Now, what about this one? Second part. Second part. It's a first and second quarter. First and second. First and second. So how do we make how do we make this one? Like that. Now, what is the common part in this one? First quadrant. First, first, first quadrant. Yes. Rest all will So just for understanding purpose, we made this one. Otherwise, we'll do only this one. This is the final answer. So this is about the first and second quadrant. Got it? X is greater than or equal to zero, y is greater than or equal to zero. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, X is less than or equal to zero and Y is greater than or equal to zero. This you have to do right now. Now we'll start adding from this, write the first one, second one, then solve third, fourth right now, then copy down this fifth and then solve the sixth. Right now, and yes. let me proceed further. Please do it first.
question. facing any difficulty please let me know while writing ashish saurav soham Ankita, done, sir. Done, sir. Okay. And these two, third and fourth. Done. Sir, third, fourth, and sixth are done. Okay. Uh, can you tell me in which quadrant you are getting the solution of this one? Six. Second. So the second quadrant. Second quadrant. Yes. So uh, some of you ask first and third together. Is it clear? Yeah. So uh, we want it like that because see, uh, common solution we are getting either quadrant. Either we get first quadrant or second quadrant or third quadrant. But uh, for first and third, we will get first. This is first and this is third. So either we get part. We means like uh, suppose line passes through like that, and we get question immediately will come to like that. In this case, in this case, we may get like that. Either solution down like that or up. So this is a part of third, uh, first and third quadrant. Okay, sir. Yes, Thank but in this in this uh, in such type of question, we want it. We get either or B. So it depends upon the okay. question. So when we get uh, such question, generally it will come to this picture. Even uh, uh, you get something like that, and line passes through this as origin. So we may get like that. So it is what you get second hand. Uh, you can use, uh, you can say, the second order in third, uh, fourth is also there. First is also there, so like that. And here, second, first, then uh, fourth, third also is there. So it depends on the uh, nature of the question. So any queries till in this uh, among all the six questions? Oh, so all of you have done. Yes. Para, para, have you solved? So um. Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody? No, sir. Okay. So far, we have taken only one variable, one more question based on one variable, and then we move to the two variables. So now this is uh, x is greater than. Greater than equal to three. Yes. Sakshi. Sakshi. Yes. Yeah. Proceed. Vaishnavi? Yes. Yes, please proceed. What is the first step? Consider x yes. equals to 3. Very good. Consider x is equal to 3. Then? Draw the graph. 
very good x axis y axis solution okay there after x equals to 3 hmm x equal to 3 is on x axis on x axis how do we draw the graph of x equal to 3 x equal to 3 parallel to y axis so let's say parallel to y axis so suppose here 1 2 3 start this one so just right here, one, two, three, one, two, three. And when we start labeling all this, means writing numbers, so we do not forget to write scale. That will uh, write later on. So here is not required at this one. So this one, x is equal to three, parallel to y axis. Okay. Now, after that, Yes, after that, Akita, please be attentive. After the graph, huh, what do we do now? We'll check where x is positive because it is greater than 3. No? So x is positive. It means what? The x is greater than equal to 3. It means what? x is 3 as well as x is greater than 3. So the value of x is 3 or greater than 3. Positive. So where we get greater than 3? Uh, just so the strength for green is blur. Yeah, just here. Okay. So we are right side or left side? Right side. Right, right side. Right yeah. side, sir. Right side. So Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So, Sachi, I asked this question. Uh, Sachi and she uh, muted herself. I hope now Sachi have understood this one. Okay? Sachi, fine. Now, next. Now we'll consider. So far, we took the in equation with one variable. Now we are going to consider linear equation with linear in equation with two variables. X plus Y is less than equal to, every time we are considering the return, now we consider less than equal to, suppose it is Y. Aditya. Yes, sir. Yes, please proceed. So consider mm -hmm. x y is equal to five. Okay, consider x plus y equals to five. So in ninth and tenth, just we are working box and then we consider the value of x, we find it y, then y, then x, like that. So here. You can use the box or directly we can write like that. When x is 0, then y is 5. Five. Okay. Now, when y is 0, x is say na, 5. Five. Five. Okay. Yeah. Now, in terms of coordinates, it gives 0, 5. Five comma five comma zero. Now the same, uh, uh, same as a, we made a box in the beginning. First example when we took the first yes, in the introduction. So in this way you can write all that way. So the uh, concept is same, but the way of presentation, way of writing, is different. Is but different. yeah, no harmful. You can follow this method as well as that box solar method. Okay, sir. Okay. Now. What do we do? Once we get the points, then we'll draw the graph. So in order to draw the graph, we require x axis and y axis. Some of you are not sleeping. Yes. So um, number the axis. Yeah. So right here, one, two, three, four, five, seven. I think 
five maximum value. Same way. This side minus one, minus two. Negative number is not there, so not required. But if you are adding, no issue. You can write like that. And now here, one more thing very important. Please do not forget to write scale. Do not forget to write scale. If you are missing this scale, then definitely you will miss half mark or one mark. Are you getting my point? What I say? Uh, yes. Do not do not miss this scale. Otherwise, you will miss half or one mark. Is it clear? Uh. So what do we write is on scale here? On both the axes, it is up to you how you are considering here on both the axes. On both the sorry, on both the axes. On both the axes. Uh, one centimeter is equal to one unit. Like that, you can. One unit. One centimeter is equal to one unit. You can right. We are not going to take actual measure, but then too, you are supposed to write scale here. On both the axes, one centimeter is equal to one unit. Now, zero comma five. Ankita, plot the points zero comma five and five comma zero. So parallel to y axis and oh, parallel zero comma five zero comma five zero comma five is the coordinate of point zero comma five. When we get parallel y axis and parallel y axis. So on the on the axis. On yeah, on the axis. So where we get zero comma five on y axis. Y axis. Okay, very good. And five comma zero. On x axis. X. Now connect this. Right here, x plus this is the x plus y is equal to five. But what is the x plus y? Is less than equal to five. Yeah. It is less than, less than, less than, less than. See here, less than. So x plus y is equal to five. Uh, less than. We consider inequality that is less than five. So we will check for. Now we consider a point. Now. Whether solution we get origin side or non-origin side that we have to check. So what do you do? Very simple. Now here we have origin. So what are the coordinates of origin? Zero comma zero. So we will change it for zero comma zero or zero comma zero. Then right here zero plus zero less than five. Zero is less than five. It is true or false? True. true? So it's true. Yes, true. we'll write here. This is true. So true. So where origin side or non-origin side? Origin side. So origin side. We'll write here. Solution is on the origin side. Any queries? Any question regarding this? So in all the equations, we have to take zero plus zero. See, uh, you can take any other value also, but when we are taking zero comma zero, calculation becomes simple. Yes. Sir. Are, are you getting my point? Yes. Calculation, yeah. Just for uh, simple calculation, we are considering the point. Okay. Yes. Okay. So where we get here? This is true. So solution is on. Origin side. So, what do we do? Picture here. We'll make arrow on origin side like that. And this way. Like that. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Please. Yes, right on.
Once you complete, please confirm. Done, sir. Very good. Any queries? What about this one, ninth one? Yes, sir, done. All of you have done ninth one? Yes, sir. Uh, this x minus y is greater than or equal to 3. Line passing through which quadrant? Just we'll uh, the roughly here. x minus y. I hope you said like that. When x is 0, y is? Yes. Y is minus, minus 3. 3. Minus 3. Minus 3. When so x is 0, y is minus 3. See, it is x minus y is equal to 3. Oh, yes, x, sir. x minus. So when we are taking x is 0, so it means it is minus y is equal to 3. So y is equal to minus 3. With mistake now. And when y is equal to 0, what about x? Minus 3. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 3, 3. three yeah. Uh, 0, comma minus 3. And here, 3, comma 0. 0, comma minus 3. So 0, minus 3, where we get 0, minus 3? On which axis? Y axis. Y -axis. Positive, or, positive or negative? Negative. Negative y axis, yes. So we write, we suppose somewhere here. And 3, 1, 0? On the x axis, positive. Yeah, something, yes, something, somewhere here. OK, so now we cut it. If you make mistake, please make correction. Is the left stage x minus y is equal to 3. Now, where we get a shaded portion means solution set. This is the origin. As I told you very clearly, just take an equality sign x minus y is equal to 3. As I told you, for simple calculation, consider origin point 0, 0. So we'll write here 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0. It is true or false. 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 Non -origin non -origin non -origin side. So where how do we get? How many you got this one? So I got this. Very good. So on. Yes, I got it. Okay, Una. Unam. You got the same or something something different? Sir, the sir, same. Okay. Same. So same, sir. Oh, great, great. Sachi. No, I think Sachi will speak yes, now. You got the same or something different? Same, sir. Okay, very good. So I hope now the picture is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
This was the ninth row. Yes, sir. H plus y is greater than equal to zero. Now, uh, same earlier we took like that. H plus y is greater than equal to five. Instead of five, now we have taken here zero. Let's see what kind of changes will take place, and what what kind of confusion will also take place in this question. So earlier we had a some number means zero is also number but some positive values now we are taking here zero so let's have a look in this one x plus y is greater than equal to zero disha disha yes sir yes please proceed with sir so x plus y is equal to zero yes very good so then the idea consider it's not compulsory this style of writing x plus y is equal to zero. Yes. Then further. Disha. Yes, sir. Yeah, further. So then x hmm. x is and y x is graph. Huh? Graph. Without taking without knowing points, how will you draw the graph? We require points, we require, we require minimum two points in order to draw the graph. Five. Five. Okay. So we'll write here when x is zero. Suppose you're getting x is zero. Then what about y? Y is also zero. Zero. Yes or no? Yes. 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 So the screen is yes. I hope that is fine. Yes. Yeah. X is zero, y is zero. Now if we take x is two, then y is also two. Minus uh -huh. two. Minus, minus two. Minus. Minus. So coordinates will be zero comma zero and two comma. Minus two. It is clear. But if uh, remember, whenever we have x plus y is equal to zero or x minus y is equal to zero. Now, constant term is not there. Ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. This is the general equation of line, which which passes through the quadrant. If this line will intersect x, both the axes. But in case if c is not there, if c is zero. It means constant value is zero. If there is no constant value in the equation, a line, the line passes through the ocean. Passes through the origin. Okay. Now draw the graph. Pair action. So it will pair action. At least it will come to them whether you are understanding or not. If not, you can ask question. Okay. X axis, Y axis, zero comma zero. Where we get zero comma zero? At origin. At origin. So this is zero comma zero. Two comma minus two. Okay, somewhere two is here and minus two. Somewhere here. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Join. This is what X plus Y is. Now. Earlier in the previous questions, while finding the solution, say we were considering origin. Now origin itself on the line. Now origin is itself on the line. Then how do we check now? So listen carefully. In this case, now this is here one. This is two. This is three. Same way here. Minus one. This is minus two. Same something like in this way. Now, either side of this line, consider any point. Soham. Soham. Yes, sir. Uh, either of this line, consider any point. Means either this side or this side, any point. Uh, suppose we take this point. So, quadrant of this point will be 1, 1, 
So here we have not written scale. Oh, so sorry. Thank you. Please write down scale as per your convenience. What are you taking here? Suppose uh, generally we write one centimeter is equal to one unit. So please write down the scale on both the axes. One centimeter is equal to one unit. Remember, if we miss the scale, so then we miss half or one mark in final exam. Over? Yes, sir. All of you have to explore. All of you have textbook? Yeah, hard. Okay, okay. Uh, if some of you don't have, then you went to the PDF. You can download the PDF. Now, 7.1. Exercise 7.1. Exercise 7.1. Question number one. Question number two. Question number three. Question number four. Is it clear? Okay, sir. Question number one, question number two, question number three, question number four. You have to simplify. In all questions, there are sub questions three, four, three, four. And you have to send the image in terms of video. From the video of the solution and send it to sir, and he will forward to me. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Before the before the sir, next can we send it on the group? Uh, yeah, that's that's also okay. Yeah. You can. Okay, sir. Yes, yes. But remember, before next class, your homework should be completed. So, when will we have the next lecture? That sir will inform. The next lecture. Okay, sir will inform you. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sir. That's all. That's all yes, for today. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Bye, sir. We're going to end the meeting. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye, bye sir. Bye, 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 bye. So the end so the meeting. Will, you will end okay. the meeting. Okay. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.